Space Pipe is one of the unique 3D CAD applications for the piping design. In Space Pipe, we have different pump devices like the single pads, flanges, elbows, reducers, teeth, caps, nozzles, different types of valves, as well as some pumps and other. User can assign color of a single pipe or pipe assay which fit with specific value of temperature or pressure. Components Library Group, Modification Common Group, Unit, Split, Rotate, Stretch, Commons, Hangers Common Group, Addition Guides, Hangers, Clamps and Anchors, Dimensions and Markers Common Group, Recognize Group and Inquire, it means assigns and defines pumps and piping definitions. So I will take the pump first. I am going to design common group and open drop down list under more button and select pump. In the open dialog window and function centrifugal pump, choose pump from table where you can find the nominal sizes for pressure and suction sites. I simply select an origin of the pump and direction for x-axis. As you see here, all pump's parameters automatically fill it. The pump is positioned. Pump has two flanges, the suction side and the pressure side. If I want to continue with some piping elements, I should put the flanges. Open the drop-down list under Single Parts button in Design Common Group and select Flange. In the open dialog window you can see that all flange parameters we can enter manually or click Connect to and specify suction side and the pressure side of pumps. So program takes required diameters automatically. For the next step let's use automatic piping functionality. Click button Polygon. The Polygon Pipe dialog box opens. Simply select the flange and start dragging this 3D tool what we call Pole Star. You can see the value of length and also enter the exact value like this. While moving the necessary elbows adds to the pipe automatically. And for example, if I want the pipe come to the same direction like another pipe, so I just simply select mode to pipe and select reference pipe and then my pipe goes automatically until desired level. This method works the same when you need move pipe to point or to work plane. Go to single parts list and select elbow. In the open dialog window specify the end of pipe. You can rotate it by buttons rotation plus and minus. If you want to make a new turn just add new elbow. Continue piping by clicking polygon pipe without leaving the dialog box. As for demonstration, let's add valve. Open the valve's drop down list. In space pipe, we can use welding and flange valves. Select hand wheel from welding valve. Select pipe, valve appears. We can rotate it. Continue piping by clicking polygon pipe. Addition T's. Go to the single part list and select T. T can be vertical or horizontal. Select vertical, click connect to and specify pipe. Also, we can insert T into the middle of the pipe. 
In this case, we need to select Inset 2 mode. Start pipe from other side of pump. We need to unite both of pipes, but they have different diameters, so we should add reducer to decide it. Go to single part list and select reducer. Select new diameter into 2 dia field. Then specify pipe for reducing. Continue piping using polygon pipe button. To unite two pipe segments with gap between, use Bridge Unite button in Modify Common Group. Add in Nozzle. Go to Single Part List and select Nozzle. Enter length and diameter of nozzle and specify position. Move nozzle aligned pipe back and forth with defined step using button move plus and minus. We can set the value of moving distance using reference plane. Tilt nozzle by defined angle using button tilt plus and minus. Straight pipe. Go to single part list and select straight. This tool can be used when user need to create segment with reference lens which have specified features like temperature or pressure. Also, user can assign some color to mark. I can specify constant value for lens in the dialog window or define it dynamically by dragging pole star. Let's consider example of addition fastness to flange valve. Space pipe model support work with Solid Genius model, which contains the fastness library. Add flange and handwheel from flange valves. Then go to Modify Common Group, open drop-down list under More button and click Add Screw command. In the Open Dialog window, select First Flange and Valves Flange. Choose Type of Screws. As you see the fasteners with required sizes downloaded automatically.
adding cap. Go to single part list and select cap. Select end of pipe and required cap appears automatically. Let's consider some modifying commands. Go to modify command group and select split button. Specify split points on pipe. You can delete splitted segment. Reverse operation. Unite segments by bridge unite command.